AOB. Where's my snare? So where's my snare? Nick's the idea of them making a movie about his life again. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, and I get the final call about business. Hold on. Hello? Hey, uh, Chanel. Hey, what's up? I got uh, some feelers that I put into the door, so. Okay. This kid, he's, he's kind of small for a 140. I mean, I'm rage-wise. He's not going to come down any lower in weight, is he? I don't know. He he used to fight, I think, at 35 before. Because when he fights a guy like Darwin Price, it's a physical mismatch. The guy had 10 inches reach on him. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. That's a proprietary call. And now. How we see it is this, right? We're looking at a situation in which Eminem Slim Shady and these people, man, they want to milk anything they can off Eminem. So the people who do VH1 or BET, one of them, <laughs> were supposed to, or wanted, well, not supposed to, wanted to do a movie based on Eminem's life and not the Eight Mile type version. They want to go deep into his father, his, his, his other family members that he keeps very private. And he nicked that deal almost ASAP. <laughs> and the representative who allegedly spoke to his team said that Eminem has not fallen off the rails that bad to have that done right now. <laughs> He's like, that that's just grasping at straws. They understand where they, you know, they're appreciative that they are interested in doing a film on his life. But eight mile is probably the most you're gonna get out of Eminem's life that he wants to reveal, even though that character and a lot of things is dramatized for the television or for the, you know, the big screen. But that's about as far as you're going to get out of Eminem when it comes to that. My thing is this. Can we just let this go? Should we just let this go? There are newer artists out there. He's pushing 50. He's pushing 50. They talking about he the hottest artist in the game. Look. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm done, man. I, I don't even want to do this no more. I'm out.